In this video, we're going to be going over the Die Explorer. The Die Explorer is an easy to read dashboard for the Die Credit system. And what we're looking at here is a current state of the system in the Covan test network. And today we're going to walk through a couple different operations that you can do. One being opening a CDP, which is a collateralized debt position, which will create the stablecoin Die. And another will be closing it down and then drawing some Die off and paying it down. All right, so the first thing we'll see here is a couple different coins or, to or tokens up at the top of the dashboard. And the only collateral that is used in the DAI credit system currently is, is Ether. But Ether doesn't have uh, standard ERC20 functions, so the first thing we actually have to do is wrap our Ether so that we can get functions like transfer from. And then from there, we actually create a, a, a version called pooled ether, which is the actual collateral that backs the die. And the reason we do this is because the pooled ether together has different properties than just the regular um, wrapped ether. So pooled ether together backs the die, and if uh, there is any time in which there is debt that needs to be paid off, then this pooled ether will be inflated in order to cover that bad debt. Likewise, if there are, when there are fees introduced, the, uh, the pooled ether will be burned so that your ratio here, the, the pooled ether to ether, will actually change so that you'll get more ether back as a result of fees. All right, so there are also another kind of fee. Uh, there's a little bit more option down here where you can see some more statistics. So there's a, um, a liquidation penalty. So if your collateralized debt position needs to be liquidated, there's a 13% fee for that. And then there's also um, a governance fee. And the governance fee is paid in MKR, which is the governance token of the system. Uh, currently, no stability fees. And the uh, target rate B feedback is also not implemented at this point. Some other interesting uh, statistics you want to see here is the debt ceiling. This is how much die can be created. Uh, the liquidation ratio, at what point will CDPs need to be liquidated? This right now is currently set to 150%. What is the current ETH to USD price and the MKR to USD price? Another interesting fact here is the what's called the boom and bust spread. That is That happens when collateral is put up for sale from CDPs. This is if the amount here is negative, then that means there's an incentive to purchase. This would be in this case, 3% under the feed price. Um, so that gives you an incentive to, for traders to uh, pick up that. All right, so hiding this back here, uh, we have a couple more options down here. So this is a, a feature where you can wrap your Ether. You can also unwrap it. And here's where you can transfer the different types of tokens. Over to the right here, this panel shows you your token allowances, and currently those are all set to no allowance. So the first thing we are actually going to do is go ahead and just set all of those uh, allowances up to a really high amount. Actually, I think I can just, yeah, do this, and then submit, submit. And we are working on the test network here, so it is going to be a bit faster than uh, the mainnet. So do keep that in mind when you're working with this, that it, that it can take some time for transactions to be approved. Submit. And you'll see that the user interface here, once these transactions get mined, then they, they change their uh, approval statuses. I accidentally clicked something there I didn't want to click, so I'll just deny that. All right, so almost there. So that was this one. I think just need to do that one. Great. All right. So now that we have all of our approvals set, we can do some. We can wrap some ether that we have here. So I'm gonna take some of this here, and I'm gonna wrap 40 ether. Submit. So what's going to happen here after that uh, wrapping is done, then you, I will have a balance here. These other two balances here, this is the total supply of wrapped ether in the system and pooled ether. So there you go. So now we are uh, some new options become available. 
we can change this into that pooled ether. And currently, right now, that is a one-to-one -one operation. So we're going to convert the whole thing into the collateral of the system. <clears throat> and again, these other uh, system variables here, you can see how much pooled ether there is in the total system, how much is locked, and how much is available for sale down here. And as soon as this, uh, there you go. So now we can convert that back when we want to. All right, so now that we have some collateral, we can open up a CDP. Down here you have a couple different filters. You can filter just on your own CDPs, all open CDPs, unsafe ones, closed, that sort of thing. So we're going to open up a CDP here. Yes. <clears throat> and then once that CDP becomes available, it'll list it here. And there's going to be a few options available to us for interacting on the CDP. So we'll be able to uh, lock up some collateral. We'll be able to uh, draw out die. If we want to pay back, then we will wipe the debt. And then to get your collateral out, you free that collateral. When you're done with the CDP, you can shut it down. At any point in time, you can also give it away. Or if it becomes under collateralized, you can what's called bite, which is kind of like a forced cover. Okay, so we're going to lock up some of our pooled ether here. Let's just go ahead and set it to the max. Submit that. Prove that. So that's going to uh, change this number right here. It's going to be 40. But we haven't uh, chosen a debt amount yet. That'll, that'll come from draw. And what draw will do is that it will actually draw out die, and then our balance over here will get updated. So now we have uh, 40 uh, pooled ether locked into this position. And this tells us the total amount of die that we could possibly draw out from this position. And that is based on uh, this current feed price right here. So uh, if you take all of that amount, it'll go right up to the, uh, to the limit, which is probably maybe not the best idea. So what we are going to do is we're going to draw out a safe amount. Let's just do 10,000. Submit. And this should give us a pretty healthy buffer. And it'll even tell you exactly what that liquidation price may be uh, once it gets mined here and what your uh, ratio is at, at any point. And uh, that 10,000 we just took out, that would be considered uh, debt. So there's our debt, and this is our ratio, which is pretty healthy at 320%. And Ether would have to fall all the way down to 375 for this position to be get liquidated. And now at the very top here, we have a die balance. So that's what, uh, and then right here, we can use that to transfer that die out to some other place that we want to use it for, or we can leave it where it is. Nice little transfer functions here. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like to pay off a little bit of this debt here. And the first thing you want to realize, um, so right now I have two MKR in this account. And what's going to happen is that's going to drop just a little bit after I pay off some of this debt. So to pay off, I'm going to wipe. Let's just wipe half of it. So 5,000. Submit. So this will pay off half of the debt that I took out. And then the, the fee for that will just be a, a small 0.5% paid in MKR, which is this feed price here, and translated into dollars. So now you can see that our, our ratio has gone much higher, and if you'll look at the very top here, yeah, our MKR balance went down just a little bit. So that means uh, we paid the, the stability fee with uh, some MKR. And then our balance for die went down. The last thing that I'd like to show you here um, is what it looks like to close a position or if a position becomes under collateralized. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to change the current Ether price. Um, I'm going to do that on a separate machine. I'm going to change that to $500, which will, uh, which, will, which will have the effect of changing the collateralization ratio from another CDP that I have. So that went down here to 5. This, this CDP 
is still fine. It's 400%. All right. Now I'm going to change my account. And in this account, I had a CDP all the way up to the line, and now it's under collateralized. So it's unsafe. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this function called byte. And what byte will do will be to close down this position and then add those funds to this boom bust spread over here. And normally what happens is this this will be uh, this will be called by uh, traders called keepers who are going to be monitoring the blockchain for these types of opportunities. Just got to make sure we prove that here. And then after this gets bitten, I'm going to uh, shut down this uh, this position. Okay, so you'll see. Yep, see right there. All of that went back up to here, and then will become available at that boom bust spread. So now all of the debt has been wiped out. This entire uh, position can be now shut. And then it'll close that down. You could also give away a, a CDP, and this would be just uh, giving it an address to send it to. OK. And there we are. So thank you for watching this video. And as always, if you have any questions, you can join us at chat.makerdao.com. And we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much. Bye.